Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you stopping in today. We're back over here uh, near the wood yard and I wanted to give a little bit of a project update on the, uh, the solar kiln. So it's, uh, it's came along fairly nicely. Um, we've had some decent weather to work on it when it's not been just extremely hot. Um, so last time, last video I left y'all, we had the floor done and had it all leveled and and everything in place there but since then we've done some uh some framing and like i said we've kind of worked on it you know a little bit here and there in the evenings when we had some time and it wasn't extremely hot um you know and most of this is just basic you know framing carpentry so nothing really spectacular there to to make a, a big video about but um yeah, we're uh, we're making some progress on it. Got all of the uh, the rafters up. The biggest chore was getting that twenty foot two by eight header uh, that's doubled up right there, getting it in place. Uh, of course, we we use the tractor to to help with that, but that was really the the hardest part about it. Um, other than that, it's been pretty simple once we got our angles together and got those cut uh you know and got that figured out uh that was that wasn't too bad as you can see and that's one thing that i will say if you go online and look at the virginia tech solar kiln they don't really go into a lot of detail about what you've got to do here on these these angles they just kind of leave it as as flat you know the wall's this height that wall is in particular height but they just don't really get into any kind of a you know detail on what those angles are like so we we had to play with that just a little bit and you know come up with a way that we wanted to to do that and of course once we got the angles you know we just went through and copied that same angle on everything and i believe it's going to work out really well good strong sound structure and just need to get it insulated now so here's another look from the back side uh, so what we did we went 10 foot tall back here on this back wall and then four foot high on the front and then I made a 16 foot opening right here and I'm gonna make two eight foot by eight foot swinging doors that'll open up and that way I can put 16 foot lumber in there uh, four IBC totes and then right over here in the corner is where I'm gonna put my wood stove and as you can you can kind of tell right here um, I got a little header right here we're actually gonna frame this out and put an opening a door right there uh, that we can open and feed the wood stove right here that'll set right here so my wood stove opening will be right here is what it'll look like from the outside and so my plan is i've got to, to redo this old fence right here finish tearing it down uh, this is more or less left temporarily so the cows can't get in here and, and mess with everything but i'll put a ibc tote right here you know with a little cover on it and just feed the wood stove right there from it and then once i burn that down then I can bring, you know, another IBC tote over and just keep filling it. Like I said, the, the angles there on the, the, they're not really 45s. Um, that was the trickiest part to get kind of where we wanted it. And as you can see here, you know, it ended up, this top plate was, was on an angle. And then these other top plates were on the same angle. And we cut everything here, you know, on that same angle. And then went inside and put our trusses inside, which allowed us to go up through there and have that same uh, that same lip right there for our lathing strips. So the the plastic uh, roofing material will lay right on right on top of this and go all the way up through there and lay on that lathing strip. So here's a little bit closer look on what we've done inside. Like I said, this angle, you know, we dropped these down, kind of not 
traditionally how you would frame you know usually this this rafter tail is going to sit on top of the top plate uh, but like i said to, to get this angle um, and make our ends seal up nicely this was just the best way to do this and like i said it keeps this this top plate is the same uh, height as as these lathing strips um, so we just went went right in here and tied it into the to the studs and did the same thing up there on the the peak like i said it's not exactly traditionally how you would frame a uh a rafter but for this uh for this particular application it worked out really well there's a little bit a little bit better look on how we done that Like I said, in case you missed the first video, this is going to be a, a more of a hybrid type solar kiln. You know, I'm going to rely on this uh, 16 feet section here that I'll have my uh, lumber and wood that will be the uh, the plastic greenhouse type material, which will pull in the heat and, and heat this space up. But then over here on this side, that extra four foot, I'm going to have a wood stove there and have supplemental heat for when in the winter when there's not as much sun and the temperatures are colder uh, and I can come up here at night, load that up and, and maintain that temperature throughout the night when I don't have a lot of sunlight. So that's a, a quick update on the solar kiln and then what kind of progress we've made on it since the last video. Uh, next step, like I said, is, is going in and, and getting those, uh, those interior walls uh, insulated and then I'm going to sheet all that with OSB and you know tighten tighten that up really good make it good and uh, sturdy and insulate it like I said and keep it to where we can keep that heat in and then what I'm going to do before I put any of the the roofing material on I'm going to come in here and paint everything in here black uh, including these rafters i'm gonna paint all that black that way it's going to hold the most amount of heat that we can get then once that's painted black then we'll go in and put all of our roofing material on and get everything in the dry here's another look at it from the front just to uh, go over the measurements again it's it's 20 feet long eight feet wide we made this front wall four foot tall and the back wall is 10 foot tall at the peak all right so that's going to do it for this video i appreciate you watching it's kind of just a short update video like i said i didn't do any footage of this you know when we were doing the walls because it was so um, you know short term and sporadic and, and for the most part just general uh, basic carpentry um on building the walls so i didn't want to bore anybody with all that and um at least this way now you can kind of see just a good overall of what got us to this point and then uh, you know if you've got any questions or anything about the construction of it to get to this point uh, just shoot me a comment below and i'll do my best to answer it hopefully on the next video we'll have the roofing done and be close to putting some wood in it so I hope you enjoy the video, and we will catch you on the next one. We'll see you.